uh, Ware Wendell with Texas Watch. Thank you, members. My name is Ware Wendell with the Policyholder Group Texas Watch. Uh, we registered neutral on this charge given the wording of the charge, but I want to make it clear that we support the prohibition of name driver policies in the marketplace. Okay, you, su you support the prohibiting name driver policies. Exactly, okay. Chairman. That's exactly right. The reason why is because we feel these policies are, are dangerous to the public. And really, and I know we've taken a lot of testimony today, and my goal is to be very short, but to get down to the heart of this issue, it comes down to what does personal responsibility mean and what does financial responsibility mean under the law? Um, I hope I'm not talking out of school here, Mr. Chairman, but but I've seen you quoted in the paper talking about your family's personal experience with this. Um, when you get hit by a driver who would say that it's innocent and they think that their company provide that proof of insurance card and find out there's no insurance there, you have to bear that cost. Either you bear it directly or you bear it when you have to invoke your uninsured motorist um, deductible or the premium that you pay on your UM coverage. And that's just not right. I mean, it's a social contract that we all enter into when we get on the roads so that we're going to take out insurance to pay for somebody else if we cause harm to them. We heard a, a really tragic story from Representative Ed Thompson last session. I believe he had a family friend who was uh, killed by one of these named drivers, and, and the family is left to to bear the brunt of that tragedy uh, in every way that you can imagine. We've heard that there are 1.2 million of these vehicles on the road, and when you start to think of all the various household members who are excluded under the policy, who may be driving one of those 1.2 million vehicles at any given point in any given day, um, it's a clear and present danger to public safety. We support the approach that was embodied in, in Representative Thompson's uh, legislation from last session. That was House Bill 1773. Um, I believe it's been filed again as House Bill 335. That's a bill to look for this session. And, and basically, if you're going to exclude people, exclude them by name, make the exclusion conspicuous so that everybody knows who's covered and who isn't covered, so that you don't lend your car to someone um, who could cause a world of hurt to any number of people. There's been a lot of concern about the number of, of uninsured motorists on the road and what this would do if we, if we ban these policies. We need to understand that many of these people who have these name driver insurance cards in their, in their glove box right now are already essentially uninsured. They're just not counted right now in the number of uninsured motorists. It's a real problem. Um, this is, it is true, as I said earlier, this is a public policy conundrum. Uh, that's the role of this body, to set, public to set public policy, to establish the floor in this state as to what counts as insurance, what is meaningful coverage. And I submit to you that these policies do not meet that standard um, for, for all the reasons stated already. You'll recall that, that the bill last session, Representative Thompson's bill, passed the House with well over 100 votes. This is not a controversial uh, topic, and we would encourage this body to again support that concept and, and to pass it on out of the House and put all the pressure that you need to on the other chamber to, to move the bill. Um, the last thing I'll say, even though I'm, I'm here primarily to speak about named, named driver, there's been a lot of concern about the cost of auto insurance and what another $5 or $10 would mean to someone. And I would submit to you that you may consider adopting the approach that, that we did, Chairman Smithy, back in 2003 with homeowners, uh, where we had that market-wide rate call. You kind of threw a lasso around the entire market. TDI looked under the hood of, of all the companies and make sure that uh, they're not charging excessive rates. That's one way to make sure that uh, folks are, are paying a fair price uh, and of course we want to also heat up the market in terms of competition getting information to consumers i appreciate all of your patience i'm happy to take any questions thank you mr Wendell. any questions for mr Wendell? okay appreciate you thank being you sir here. Uh, we have 